What happens this time when E.T. decides to phone home and bring the party to Earth? A sea battle of epic proportions. Aloha, I'm Trey Alexander in Hawaii aboard the USS Missouri, where I had a chance to catch up with the cast of Battleship. Warning red. Weapons tight. We want everything loaded. So what do you think is setting, uh, you know, Battleship apart from a lot of the other big action popcorn movies that we've seen of late, you know? I don't know, man. I think it's a lot of fun. I really do think it has its own tone. Uh, the action is insane. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. incredible. What the f***? The debris field from this, it's going to cover the entire hemisphere. I think it's grounded within the action as well. And these guys truly are relatable. Uh, biasly speaking, I, I think Hopper's a lot of fun to watch. But you said that you were nervous about seeing yourself on the screen for the first time. I'm shocked. Wow, I was very nervous. And it was, it was still very awkward. I mean, it was exciting, but it was kind of like, you felt exposed, like everybody's seeing it. And that's, it's all over now, like it's too late. I knew that it was going to be a big action, fun summer popcorn movie. Sure. But what got me excited was Pete's an actor himself, and he spent two hours talking. You know, when we first met about my character and about the the brotherhood, that relationship, mm -hmm. and I felt that he cared more about that than the, you know, the explosions or the aliens. I was really blown away when I saw all the effects and the aliens and CGI and all the the pulse, it really blew me away. I had no idea it would look like that. We're looking at a global extinction event. What are your orders? Light them up. It felt like a lot of um, time was spent in making sure that you guys really were believable as, as um, you know, officers, Navy commanders yeah. and officers, yeah. Yeah, there was, and we prep. God knows we prep, man. Jeez, we are here for Man, weeks and weeks, and then even months before that, coming into San Diego anytime we could to sit down, be on the USS Hopper when it was out there for me personally, uh, working with these guys that actually live uh, what I played, and uh, to be surrounded by these officers daily was awesome. And it just raises your game. I believe that, that you could walk into a room with a machine gun and blow everybody away. Thank you. Now, where'd you get the training? Where'd that come from? I did most of the training on set. Uh, we did, we would just actually in this very harbor, just go around the harbor and shoot the weapons, and train with them on the actual rib, mm -hmm. just before we would shoot the scene. So a lot of it was spontaneous. I was on tour, so I didn't really have time to rehearse with everybody else. So a lot of my training was done then. We're a bad idea, Lieutenant. You guys get a chance to go out to sea and shoot out there yeah first two weeks we're out there when you see hops uh the, f the first contact when mm -hmm. he touches the alien and gets blown back that was legit that was like a 30 foot stunt or in the air going back into the ocean wow so i mean any actor will tell you too a live setting's the best setting you know we love being out there it was it was awesome yeah. exhausting because you know there's so. no coverage out there for 10 11 hours in the sun and you don't really know it because you're in the mindset of working, but you, you get heat stroke uh, quite easy. I had heard that there was also a concern of sharks out there. Was that, is, is that, is that true? Is that true? Pete's starting. Well, he, he, yeah, he was, he was saying that, you know, that there was, you know, a fear of that out there. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it back to that stunt. I, I'm heady about it, um, as anyone should or would be when you're, you know, you're tied to a crane that's 50 feet and you're getting thrown 30 to 40 feet into the open ocean. I literally think that there's about eight to 10 sharks waiting for that stunt to go down, knowing there's about a five to 15 second lull of me being by myself in the ocean. <laughs> Is it true that you actually have a military background? Yeah. So did that, did that help you in understanding more about what was going on as far as your character and, and I guess the environment? Yes, absolutely. I. I'm a sergeant in, in the Swedish Navy. My unit, the unit I was, um, I was a team leader in a unit that was 
we weren't, I mean, Stonehopper, my character, is a commanding officer of one of those, a destroyer. We were, my unit was in the archipelago in, in the Baltic Sea, and our job was, we were on the islands protecting the, the ships, basically, from uh, foreign threats, basically. So I'm assuming that the transition from singer to um, being an actress wasn't too bad for you, because, you know, singing is emotional. Singing, you tell the stories you want to tell, and acting, you kind of have to go into those places that you kind of avoid usually, so it is more challenging for me. Now yesterday that they took us on tours and we were walking through some of the, the destroyers and, and the, the battleships. I noticed that the ceilings were really, really low. Because you're, you're, what, 6'6"? Six, 6'4". Six? Six, four. Six, four. Yeah. I would think that you, your forehead would be bapping into the quarters. And yeah. I hit my head a lot. Okay, all right. I did. So, I did. All right. And when you shoot those like action sequences, you don't really. You, you, I ran into a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so stupid now. <laughs> so some of those cuts were real, huh? They were. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it's all real. Now you know what I love about action movies is that every action movie always has a great one-liner. <laughs> Schwarzenegger had it. You know, I'll be back. Bruce Willis had it. Yippee ki yay. And Rihanna, in Battleship, has. A word and a half. Mahalo, mother. Mahalo, mother. Boom. Boom. The rest is just a blast off. Hit it! Boom.